Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Appreciate y'all dialing in. Uh, this OG trip here, man. Listen, I uh, got a different type of video for you guys today. Uh, but as y'all know, you know, here at the shop, you know, this is why we call it Shop Talk. We talk about a lot of different topics, whatever's going on, you know, in the world today, uh, whatever's going on in the community, so on and so forth. Guys will pop up with their opinion almost all the time, along with, you know, some of the young ladies. Uh, but what you see in front of you is a Suzuki 750 uh, 2002 model. Uh, you know, real nice, pretty bike. Uh, one of my partner's uh, son's bike. They brought it over. Uh, so he just got it back from a shop. Uh, and uh, they've done a lot of work to it. And blase, 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 blase. Y'all already know how that goes, okay? Uh yeah, they did what they said they had to do. I guess they wired this light switch in. I don't know why they just didn't put their regular switch back in there because I don't like this type of stuff right here. But nevertheless, this is he don't live in my town. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to replace the starter. You know, here you go. You know, I'm going to replace the start on it right here. So this is going to be a kind of quick. It's not too bad to do it on uh, these vehicles here. So, uh, what I was finding out is that when I hot wire the starter from that battery post wire right here, I can touch it from here straight to back here to the positive side of the battery and it uh, uh, drags as if, uh, you know, the starter bushings and something like that is wore out. So what I did is I pre start disassembling this and I'm going to give you three steps. Okay. First step is you want to disconnect this positive wire right here. You want to disconnect that from the battery, which is back there, but I done it from the solenoid, the starter switch solenoid. I disconnected it from there. I don't want to move that light because I'm going to lose light to show y'all. So just make sure you don't have no battery power going in there. And that is a 12 millimeter uh, nut there. Then the next thing you got will be these two nuts here here and one on the back side they are tens so i went on and pre pre broke these are loose man for you guys i'm reaching back here now to uh take one of these bolts out okay got one of them out got the other one out i'm gonna have to let this battery charge up guys so i'm gonna speed this video up so i got my two bolts out i got my battery post wire out and so you just kind of lift the starter up Shouldn't be nothing else holding it. It's a matter of prying it out of this spot there. Uh, it's got a shaft right here. It's got an O-ring right here. So what I want to do is I want to take it here and slide it back that way. Okay? And that should get it out. Take it, slide it back that way. You know, to get it to come out of the... Get the splines to come out of the... Uh, hold that it's sitting in okay and that and that would be how you replace the start on a suzuki 750 jigs ssr 2002 model okay uh it's not too much to it you raise the gas tank you got two 10 millimeter bolts there you take the seat off right here and then once one on this side one on the other side that takes the seat off see the nuts right here and then you that allowed this gas tank to come back you don't have to Disconnect the electronic fuel pump or anything like that. Just raise it up like I did. Put your uh, barb there. Make sure it stays up there. And then you can reach right down in here. That's enough room for you to work, man. There's your starter there. Okay, guys. Feel that this video was helpful. Give me some thumbs up. Please share this video. Till next time.